Freshly fallen snow does little to mask the charred remains of Lytton. Apart from the snow, little has changed here since last summer's fire. It's a sore point for residents who had hoped by now rebuilding would be in full swing. You know, we're pretty frustrated. Uh, seven months is a long time. With 90% of the town destroyed, this resiliency center is one of few places people can meet for a coffee. You can't get your mail, you can't go to the doctor, you can't go to the pharmacy, um, you can't meet your friends. It's just a big empty pit down there right now and you really worry about how long it's going to take to get people back. Lytton's mayor refused an interview with CBC News saying tensions are running high. Since the fire occurred, three people have taken and left the job of village recovery manager. Unfortunately, you don't see a lot of things happening on the ground, um, but uh, there's an awful lot happening in the background. But the biggest roadblocks to recovery? All the town's records were destroyed when the village office burned down. And then there's the complex heritage permit process. The town sits on an ancient First Nation settlement, so no digging can begin without an archaeologist on site. I think the reality is that, you know, people are trying. It's just unprecedented events. The clock is ticking, though. Insurance companies are eager to start the cleanup process as costs continue to mount. The longer that these delays go on, we know that some insurance policies have limits and these limits could be reached so people could be exhausting their insurance coverage. And even when rebuilding does begin. I'm really worried people aren't gonna come back. Too much time will go by, they'll get settled in other places. A concern felt by many here as they wonder the uncertain future of Lytton. Brady Strachan, CBC News, Lytton, British Columbia.